Yes, my interest in the psychological well-being of patients came when I did my MSc in, in 1999 and I interviewed patients on their experience of living with COPD and found that yes, breathlessness was a problem but anxiety and depression was also a problem and that was something that as a respiratory nurse I wasn't really a specialist in so by chance I, I, I got some training, brief foundation training in CBT as part of a research study and I thought this is perfect for my patients. I feel like it's just the, the you know, the, the more tools in my toolbox to be able to help people who are breathless, anxious and depressed as a result of their respiratory problem. So I, 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 I did a course, a postgraduate diploma in cognitive behavioural therapy and then just started to work, to use those skills in clinic, develop my own little um, model of using it with respiratory patients and then was persuaded to apply for a PhD fellowship with the NIHR. So I did that study, the biggest study in the world up to that point, and found that actually respiratory nurses could deliver um, a fantastic intervention that helped reduce symptoms of anxiety, but also slashed attendance to a and &E hospital admissions. And that was a, um, a major, major um, finding from that study. And it really is as cheap as chips. It costs about £175 to deliver this intervention. And if it saves one hospital admission, it is worth it. It's, so that's why it was found to be really cost effective. So now I'm just trying to teach other people to do it and developed uh, an app a pa for patients. So that is just being launched at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's and it'll be always will be my passion.